Hello, Alex RC Freak here, coming at you with another video. This is an install video of a Savox servo. It's a SA1230SG. Let's see if I can get that in there for you. So this is a servo right here. It's a 25-2 spline. I don't know if I can focus. Yeah, 25-2 spline. So very nice servo. It's 500 ounces of torque at 6 volts. So basically what you, what I already did is I put the rubber grommets in, came supplied with the servo. I got the supplied uh, screw hardware, the bolts. So this little gear right here faces towards the back of the vehicle. So the back towards right here is where this gear goes. So anyway, we're going to get you up a little bit closer here. So now keep in mind, Traxxas' servos are a little bit longer this way. They're a little longer this way. So getting these screws to line up sometimes can be a real bear. But let's try to do it. So what I'm going to do is take this servo wire. And I'm just going to take this light and do see if I can maybe do something like that. Or I don't know what way would work best for you guys. So. But anyway, I'm just going to take that. Stick it. Now my suggestion is to start two screws first lightly get them started once you kind of get them started okay now this is where it's going to be kind of a pain in the rear because you gotta Sorry about that. Once you get them started, if I can get you a little closer in here. There we go. You can push the servo. See if you can. Sometimes you gotta really give it a good push. Like I say, these can be a bear to get in. It can be a real pain in the rear. Let me pause it real quick and I'll be right back with you. Alright. So, I got the screw started. All I had to do is grab the servo, put my thumb right here. Grab the servo and squeeze my fingers together as tight as I could. And, you know, he's, the, that's the thing. is that The track just makes these uh, servo positions on this track just a smidge longer than actual standard servo. So that's the only thing you need to keep in mind when you're putting an aftermarket servo in a Revo brushless. They're all like that. So, but this servo is going to be 10 times better than both those servos. So, yeah, you just tighten these down. You just like so. Kind of do it at a crisscross. I recommend doing this by hand. Do not use a power tool. Do not you don't need to drill anything. I just had to squeeze and I couldn't do that, you know, one handed. So anyway, sometimes it fights you, sometimes they go right in. You know, other times they don't want to go in as easy as they you'd like them to. Kind of work the screws all evenly. And you got the rubber grommets on there. And then bam, you got enough room to stick the wire in your receiver box so anyway that's a quick install you have to plug this in channel one there's two channel one ports on your factory e-revo 2.0 receiver there's two channel one ports so if you have your receiver and you're looking at it like this there's a channel one port right there and there's a channel one port right there and then this is channel two and three. My ESC was plugged in channel three. It needs to be plugged in channel two on a speed control or a throttle off the servo if you have a nitro. So that's channel one. That's channel one. That's the steering port. Always is channel one. Just so you know. Alright, thank you for watching. Alex RC Freak out. Peace.